Well, he still holds the record for most consecutive UFC heavyweight title defenses. The former champion, Stipe Miocic, back looking to add to what is an outstanding legacy here tonight. Stipe Miocic is one of those guys that can do everything in the octagon. He was a wrestler at Cleveland State University, also a Golden Gloves boxer. He's one of the people that the new era of mixed martial arts is going to welcome to the octagon. They can do it all from the very beginning. That led Stipe to becoming the heavyweight champ that's defended the belt the most times. And imagine if he wasn't fighting fires all day, how good he'd be. <laughs> Stipe Miocic with a victim's list that includes the likes of Francis Ngannou, Junior Dos Santos, Alistair Overeem, looking to reel in another big one here tonight. Stipe Miocic has stepped into the octagon. This time he wants to leave with that championship belt. So here he is, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, Tom Aspinall. He has put UK on the map. And certainly Michael Bisping and Leon Edwards deserve a lot of credit. But now the UK has a heavyweight champion. And he hasn't even arrived at his fighting prime. We heard a lot about the grappling of Tom Aspinall and just how good he was in that realm. But his striking is outstanding. He's got the power to go with the speed. He moves as well with the footwork as any heavyweight on the roster. And that's really the big challenge for the opposition here tonight. Power to be sure on the other side, but how are they going to keep up with Tom Aspinall with the lateral movement, the jab, and everything else that he presents and poses on the feet? All right, both fighters have entered the octagon, and this massive, massive fight is nearly upon us, ready to go from Anaheim at the Honda Center with one of the biggest fights of the year. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Stipe Miocic. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Tom. Herbert Dean's in the building. He is the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, so here's Stipe Miocic back on the horse here tonight. And certainly has the wrestling chops if he wants to lean on those. But Stipe believed that this is going to be a kickboxing match here tonight. He believes he has the striking advantage, both in terms of the speed and the power. And if he can get that lead foot on the outside, he believes it's going to be a long night here for his heavyweight opponent. Stuff the takedown, no throw. Right early action here in the heavyweight division, and there's Stipe Miocic finding a home for that pull right hand early. He does it really well. He baits you into throwing something, and the moment you throw, he slips and he lets the right hand fly. He did it constantly against Francis Ngannou in the first fight. It has become one of his better strikes throughout his UFC career. Nice. Nicely done. Good right hand there by Stipe. Maybe he'll attack the body here. You can certainly speak to that. He's yeah. a guy who mixes it up well on the field. He's a guy that can do everything. And not only can he land punches, the guy punches the globe, but he's a master of adjusting on the fly whenever he's inside the eye. All right, well done. Let him there. And a lot of heavy pressure on that lead leg, and he made him pay for it. Well, we spoke about reach, and the boxer is longer in the arms. The legs are longer than the arms. So by throwing kicks, you can land and stay at range and not run the risk of getting hit by one of those great right hands that the boxer possesses. Oh, how good is that jab by Miocic? Split the guard beautifully there. Man, that's a stinging jab. You can tell he's been boxing his whole life. Yeah, and I mean, it's popular. 
over and over. He's throwing it. And he's a boxer, so he throws it from a little bit of a different stance. So it's not something the MMA fighters used to see. Big shot to the head. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Back to the jab now. No good. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offense. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like he's going to get a Submission defense wins this transition. All right, so from being dominated to in the dominant position, nice reversal on the ground. Under two minutes now to go round one. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Got to be very careful there. Posture's up now and lands a vicious head strike. Oh, oh nice God. job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Aspinall's looking to lock up an arm bar here. Oh, he's got the arm in tight. The arm bar is almost locked in. He's got to be very patient if he wants to get a finish and not lose his position. Oh, looks like to me. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. He's got to be careful here. Go. Oh, postures up and delivers a big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there by Mia Chips. Put the guard beautifully there. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Mia Chips is back in full mount. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. In the half guard. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground attack. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, he got to the spot. Good movement on the ground here defensively by the heavyweight Miacic. Ground and pound the hammer Mark Coleman would be proud. He Bottom needs to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to uh, shrink and try uh, to either get up or pull his opponent back stop, into him so he doesn't stop. have the posture to land that big damage. Take a seat. Listen, I need you to stay a little bit more active, a little bit more movement. Keep that head moving. Get behind that jab and start. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. All right, here we go. This next round is underway. He got worked in that previous frame. We'll see if he has recovered here as he enters this next round. You don't recover in a minute, so he needs to extend the recovery time. Fight at a slower pace. You cannot go in there slinging lever again, or he'll find the light shut off this fight. Aspinall's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Blocks that kick to the body. Well, 
that strike right there, that pull right hand, as you call it, has really become a trademark of Stipe Miocic on the feet. Yeah, you got to be very careful how you approach Stipe because he sets you up. He will fake a jab when you return. He pulls and he hits you with the right hand. Right now, his opponent is not picking up on it. Stipe can put you to sleep if you aren't careful in the way that you approach him. Nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Miocic. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to ride in with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with it. Oh! All right, so the commitment to the takedown pays off after several failed... Gotta watch his neck. Got the sub locked in. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Oh, he passes the half guard out. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Oh, nice. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Aspinall's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Great submission defense. This is where he wants to be. That's a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the ball. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Keep him busy now, connecting with those punches. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Throwing that jab, no good. Aspinall gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Oh, damaging knee to the head. 45 seconds remain in the round. The next one is beautiful, Jack. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his opponent. You gotta address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna let you, let you off the hook. You gotta move, you gotta change something to try to deter him from going to that spot. Takedown defense holds up, and they separate. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Mijic's his nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings hey, from his opponent. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. 
You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat. Both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to walk the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus is to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Takedown defense holds up. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, nice takedown defense. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Aspinall's cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring just over three minutes to go. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Oh, beautiful transition right into side control. That was a slick transition. Aspinall's back in side control here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Smart, guys. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Oh, he's got his back. Champ. Moving his head here on the ground, champ. I mean, this guy is very active off of his back, and it helps him to evade those strikes. Lands the ground and pound strike. You have to Aspinall's down. right back to the full mount here, making all these shots count. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity bad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Aspinall's really bleeding heavily now. You gotta think they might bring in the ringside position to take a look at that cut between rounds. Looks like he's trying for a submission now. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. You gotta be kidding me. He's out. There it is, now he's going to mouse. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Get the ball here. Well, perhaps it's a high fight IQ, perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that is getting deeper by the minute. And it seems like the right decision, because you can see his opponent starting to paw at it. You can see it starting to take an effect, it's messing with him mentally. For him, he's got to continue to attack that area and hope that it just keeps getting worse and worse. Side control now. Aspinall's right back to the full mount. Great shot from the top position. Aspinall's looking for an off bar here. Oh, that looks wicked tight. It's getting tight now. He's advancing. Oh, working hard for the arm bar now. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Oh, he's out of danger. Great 
submission defense is in. Take right. his arm out and stay safe. All right, three rounds Stop. down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship wrestling. All right, there's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. It's okay. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, so the cut man attends to the fighter who has essentially been rendered a one-eyed fighter at this point in time. Some replays from the previous round. No defensive intent, no defensive intensity. No attention to his defense, and this costing him. Now he's dealing with a massive cut over his eye, and that's going to make it hard for him to see. He's got to change something, man. He's got to. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round of fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. End this fight. End it. All right, doing work with the jab. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Miacic is kick blocked. Oh, solid kick right there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Now some separation. Aspinall's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Takedown defense is there. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Straight right hand, no good. Well, now. Big double leg, double change. Elbow landed there by Miacic. Great ground and palm by this man. Well, this is not football. Targeting is legal, and he is going at that cut, which is getting worse with every passing ground strike. Oh, beautiful fight instinct there as he reverses position, and now he's got the dominant position. He did a fantastic job recognizing, man, I have got to get on the offense. From bottom to top to dominant position. What a great job. Oh, nice job to block that punch. Oh, huge right hand! Pretty good jab there by me. It just put the guard beautifully there. Right hand just misses. Aspinall's shot is blocked. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes out. Like it did start him a little bit. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Just missed with the left there. Another and back to his feet. So now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strengths. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an ant. Oh, might be able to get his leg here, and he does. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. How about that? He avoids the 
position and gets right back to his feet. Aspinall gets back up again. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the fight on either side, that question was answered to Nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both, even though they're both willing and ready to continue this fight. Oh, oh. 20 minutes in the can, five to go. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's gonna have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. All right, man, take a seat. Breathe, relax, slow that heart rate down. It's okay, we expected this type of fight. We trained for this. You're bloody, we knew it was gonna come. Great fight, ready. Fifth and final round, fourth cup. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive. Oh! Back to the feet now. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Oh, beautiful combination. That blood becoming a real factor. Target. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, nice kick. He does everything so well, and it's so calm. That'll do it! Oh my God! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Here we go inside the Octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 50 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Stipe Miocic. All right, so a big win for Stipe here tonight, one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. And you know when you're a one-name man, right? Like, yeah. no ma, I got see a power, <laughs> right? For Stipe, that's all you need to know, and another brilliant effort out of the big man tonight. Stipe is one of those guys that you saw from the very beginning of his UFC career. You saw the evolution from prospect to contender to champion, and tonight he adds to such a great legacy that he's had in the UFC.